It's Kambada, the shaman, the god, the crack baby. And right now you're tuned in to Kofi's Universe, the number one and most truest source for hip hop news, reaction videos, sports, black culture, and much, much more. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button now. Bada. YouTube salute. Ashanti was working with a producer who demanded she pay 80K for records or have sex in a shower with him. Let's talk about it. If you're new to my channel, thumbs up the video, hit the subscribe button, click that bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. So Ashanti was on the Breakfast Club and she shared a story about a predatory producer. We did two records together. He was like, okay, I'm not going to charge you. And you, my homie, she said. When it came time to put it on the album, he was like, well, let's take a shower together. Damn, I nigga pulled as hell for that one, but I ain't surprised. There's more, y'all. There's more. I'm just shaking my head. Ashanti added that initially she didn't take him seriously. They had worked together for just a few weeks. I thought he was joking. And then he was like, nah, I'm dead serious. Let's go out or let's take a shower together and I'll give you the records. If not, I need 40 racks per record damn ashanti had to pay him 80k for the songs and or scrap the work this isn't the first time she shared this story back in 2018 ashanti called the producer disrespectful while revisiting the memory on access live she did retold the tale once again in 2020 during her interview ashanti stated that after she made a few calls the producer not only apologized but she received several free records from him Damn. So that producer, we still don't know who the producer is, man. Um, and she said, I've been through a lot of interviews and sometimes I speak, but most of the time I don't. I feel like at this point, at 20 years and being in and where we are in social media, what we're doing to progressively grow in this industry, I feel like just for a woman, I had to come out and just say my piece. Um, let me recap. So, I mean, it's sad that she had to go through that. I'm sorry. I don't want a woman going through that shit, for real. I mean, at the end of the day, men need to just be straightforward, especially in the industry and just in general. He should have just told her, like, man, I want to hit. I'm not saying she was going to let him hit. What I'm saying is just say with you how you feel. Because my thing is, I don't think she was the first woman as far as, like, an R&B artist or um, a female rapper, female singer, whatever, that he actually said that to. Whoever this producer is, you never know. Maybe some of them, um, as far as some of those women, probably did have sex with that producer or any producer. I mean, it goes down in the industry. It does go down. Sometimes there's a love connection. Sometimes the shit doesn't hit. As far as like people like nah i'm not gonna um go down that road and that's fine but when you try to you know utilize your platform or your work and your credibility just for sex that's not that's not good at all like i mean what are you proving i mean for that producer there's so many women out there in the world that probably like him already but for her like it's not even that you know it's not serious like, leave it alone, just move on, do what you need to do. Now, if the vibe was there and y'all was feeling each other, all right then, how do you go business then? You know, like, hey, you know, I'm going to take you out, you know, whatever, yada, 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 and y'all can do whatever you want to do. And nobody got to know this interview would have never came out if that would have been the right thing to do if she was feeling him. Who knows if she has a boyfriend or not. That's not my business, but she keeps her... um her relationship private if she has a relationship or not but i just feel like that's not cute at all because what happened if this producer has a daughter or some nieces or will soon have a daughter or a younger sister how would he feel if a man did that to them he wouldn't like that i know he wouldn't like that and you, know, you gotta show people respect Yes, you know, we're human beings, but it has to be a point of draw the line in the sand. 
Don't disrespect somebody like that. I mean, work is work. You don't mix business with pleasure. A lot of people like to mix business with pleasure. They put that shit in a pot, a stew, and they stir that shit up, and that shit comes out nasty. Y'all let me know what you think. Post your comments below. Hoax smash Black Panther the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you want to support, donate to the channel. I have Patreon, patreon.com slash Kofi Universe. Memo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs. Everything's in the description. Until next time, salute.